she got uh, ran around just a little bit, like, just from uh, actually a couple of um, of these mamas, and then some calves were, you know, they were new to her, so they were kind of running around with her a little bit. But I've seen actual herds run and chase new members of their family, and where to they eventually, like their tongue is hanging out, they're stressed, and they ran ragged. I've seen that happen before, and so that's what I didn't want with Eleanor. All right, so right now, um, Eleanor is out in pasture one. She's been uh, just kind of walking down this fence line, acclimating to her new environment and uh, her new family, getting a little bit of nose to nose uh, action down this fence line here. But something I wanted to make a note of is Eleanor's babies actually out here. If you guys remember, we took a lot of our weaning calves when they started that process after we worked them. We brought them over here to be a part of that weaning process here at the Ponderosa. So her calf is actually right over here. We named her Nora. Uh, she had a little heifer. This is her little heifer calf she had back in August, which I was talking about earlier. Um, but looks like they're going to walk this fence line. Big Joe is super interested, and um, he's been up here the whole time, of course, as one of his females that he's been with before. So a little reunitement there. And she's also being reunited with Peaches, uh, Bell Star, and then some of the Quapaws that she's lived with for a long time. Yeah, so they're going to go down here, and right now, they're all making their way down that fence line where there's a gate. And once they figure that out and she sees that gate, she'll basically be actually in there with them. So, Because they're in pasture too right now, and so... When she makes it way down there, they'll be able to get in with each other. So, so far, so good. Happy that Eleanor's here. And she gets to see her baby again. We'll see if, if they actually come back to reunite together. Because she is so different, she's unique and sweet, that comes with the territory of her being different, which means she's on the bottom of the pecking order. With many comments and considerations of where to put Eleanor, which herd should she go in? Should she go with Dunbar and the Haas and the two-year-old females or go back to the Big Joe herd? One of the reasons why we decided to put her in the Big Joe herd is because one, she was with females that she grew up with, Peaches, Bell Star, and some others that she's lived with for a long time, including the Quapaws and Kit. Two, it's easier to be with adults, to put an adult in an adult herd. See, Eleanor is six years old, the same age as Dunbar. So those are some of the reasons why we chose to put Eleanor back with animals that she was used to. If we put her in the Haas Dunbar herd with the two-year-old females, they would definitely push her around and run her. Because she would be out of place, Eleanor may have a hard time acclimating into that new herd. All of those young two-year-old females may not mesh well with Eleanor. So that's why we went ahead and put her back with females that she had been before, including Big Joe.
After a long walk down the fence line, Eleanor is finally reunited with some of her original family members and some new ones as well. This is like a new kid at school. You gotta think about the situation. So when you bring Eleanor in, and because these are social animals, they wanna go up, they wanna smell her, they wanna see who she is, what's new in their pasture. The Big Joe Herd reaction to Eleanor joining their family was actually not that bad. I'm sure it's overwhelming, just like a new kid at school, but because Eleanor grew up with some of these other females, it was a nice introduction for Eleanor to join the herd. See, bison are a very, very social animal. They're herd animals. Relatively speaking, and in most occasions, all bison want to be together. Bison cannot make it being by themselves. They struggle, they stress out being a single bison with no other animals around. But what comes with that is a pecking order. Most people don't like the fact that Eleanor is at the bottom of the pecking order, unfortunately. Just to try to give her some relief, we pulled out in the pasture with the ATV, thinking that most of the herd would come over to see us and hopefully get some cubes, which would distract them from Eleanor. The calves were the most interested in Eleanor. They chased her around a little bit and she just wanted to get away from them. After 10 minutes or so, they left her alone and she went on an adventure, taking a walk in her new environment. This big mama rolls up. I can hear it.
All right, that was the exact transition that we were looking for. You know, when you let these animals go, you never know what kind of action or reaction that you're going to get um, when they meet their new herd. And because we let her out in pasture one, she kind of was able to understand where she was, get some smells, and kind of get a feel for everything once we let her out into pasture one. And they were in pasture two, so they could still see each other, smell each other. And then eventually, Eleanor and the herd made their way out here where they could meet. And... Um, I've seen actual herds run and chase new members of their family, like around the pasture, like actually run them and where to they eventually, like their tongue is hanging out, they're stressed and they're ran ragged. I've seen that happen before. And so that's what I didn't want with Eleanor. You know, she is so special and she gets the special treatment, but um, because she's lower on the totem pole, I thought that was a smoother transition was letting her go in pasture one and then eventually meet them uh, together. So she's doing well. She's kind of roaming around a little bit. She's hanging out back here behind us. She'll uh, she'll get it all figured out, but now this is her complete new herd. All of these, this herd looks really big right now. That's just because some of our yearlings are in here. Some of our calves from 2022 are in here and uh, they'll be sorted out later on. Not worried about it. They're all grazing right now doing their thing. Uh, but um, as far as this foundation herd, you've got Big Joe as the breed bull, and then you've got 16 breedable females. I think it's 16 now. So that's a good ratio from bull to females. So we got one to 16 here in this case. And right now we've got six red dogs, and uh, we should have, I don't know, maybe... I think eight more red dogs is what we should have. Uh, I'm not happy about how late they are because uh, it gets hot here in the summer and stuff. But anyways, it's uh, just happy to have the red dogs. That's all that matters. So we'll keep an eye on Eleanor and her her progress and her new family here and make sure she's doing okay. So she's out on uh, some more pasture ground. She's back with uh, some members she grew up with and uh, maybe her and Dunbar will come together at some point again. Who knows? But for now, she's uh, she's in a she's in a good place. So, You guys think you can handle it? I don't know. I'm gonna repurpose this bad boy. Let's you think we can do all that CrossFit, right? Yeah. Set it up on the We'll strap it down. Do, we, do you have it? It's hooked over here. Oh, no. It's getting a little intense. I'll sacrifice myself for you guys. Even Jackie's like, I'm out. Just trying to find something to latch this onto or two. Yeah. It's gotten a lot bigger. I don't know. Not working. You just need to hold it? I mean, you can. We don't have very far to go. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, okay. Close enough. We have that strap.
passwords. Well, that's it. That is officially all of our breeding stock animals have been all brought to the Ponderosa. Eleanor was the last of those ones. Good day today. Had Lauren, Cole, some of our city friends from Plano. And a lot of you guys already know Cole Meager, a good friend I used to coach and teach with. Actually lived with when I was down in Plano, Texas, when I was coaching and teaching down there. He comes up and helps film for us um, while we're doing some dangerous stuff. And uh, brought his wife along, Lauren, being up here part of helping and having some fun on the ranch together. Get out of the city a little bit, enjoy some of the countryside, right? Living the ranch life, doing some ranch things. But um, got to be a part of moving the princess Eleanor over here. So excited. We've got them all right here, one spot. Special time for Marissa and I to have them all here together for the first time um, well, <laughs> from the original place to the Ponderosa. Now, um, we're going to keep it on her. We'll keep you updated with that and uh, we'll show you how she's doing and keeping up with Eleanor. And uh, right here around the corner, breeding season is, I think it's here basically, but it's going to get hot and heavy here soon. So um, we still have to move our animals around. We have to move the Dunbar Hoss herd out of. Um, the burn unit because it's got to have some recovery time. We got to get them out of there and move them closer to Big Joe. So that could be interesting as well. Um, that's just because with the, with the land you got, this is how you have to do it. Anyways, thank you guys for being a part of today's video. We'll see you guys soon. Two fifty five. 